guys, it's Alexa. I'm here with another video today. Um, so sorry for not um, uploading very much. I've been really busy and I've tried to sit down and upload and it just wasn't working. So here I am um, a little bit later, which is not good. But yeah, so we're, today we're going to talk about how to get over art block and yeah, we're gonna get straight to the point. I want to make a very straightforward video so it's not boring and long. Um, so yeah, so almost everyone has had the feeling where they have absolutely no creative thoughts and they don't know what to draw because they just, they don't have no thoughts that they want to create into art. And that sucks. This is a thing that everyone has dealt with before, um, well most people, <laughs> and it really sucks. But there are ways to get over it and you just have to like be patient and wait it out and it'll get better but i recommend not like stopping drawing completely so i'm giving you guys some tips that you can um use if you have art block and first of all if you have art block and it's because of something like serious happening in your life and you're just not feeling like drawing then don't draw <laughs> um if you need a break then Honestly, just take a break. You're, you are more important than creating art. So if you're not feeling good, then just take a break and come back to it later. It's okay. Uh, so anyways, the first tip that I have to do is <laughs> that I'm giving is when you actually have like great ideas and you're not in, in an art block state, to write down. Um, your ideas so if you have any like artist artistic ideas write them down because you will think yourself later when you can't think of anything so write down every single idea that you have when you aren't in block and that helps a lot when you are because you can just look back at those ideas and use them to create art Another thing that has helped me when I've had art block was to do studies. And if you don't know what a study is, then it's basically just studying one particular area of art, whether it be eyes or hair or just realism, um, whatever it is, you just want to study it for a while and you just want to practice it and get it really good. That actually really helps. Like, if you don't, it helps you so that you get some ideas and it also helps you because you're going to be improving even if you're not making like a big masterpiece um, you're still working on something which is really good so I recommend doing that if you have like no ideas at all studies really help the next one is playing around with different mediums so if you only play if you only use um, say if you only do digital art try traditional or if you only use pencil and paper try watercolor and just try different things and see what you like and it's really fun and it helps you get more inspired another one is just drawing your old memories or your old dreams or dreams that are new whatever you want um if you draw those out this can be really helpful because it makes like a really nice drawing and a really nice painting that is really cool as well. So if you have those, try writing them out and drawing them. Those are always cool. Another one is um, another great way to get over art block is by looking at other artists' work. Usually people that inspire you normally and you just want to look at their work so that you can get inspired. When I say inspired, I do not mean to copy them at any way. Do never, never copy an artist. But you can look at them for inspiration as to what you can do or just little tips. And that's the fun. Also, another great way to get out of art block is to go to like a sit down, like a cafe or something. And just take your sketchbook and draw people that are there. Um, or if you don't want to go to like a cafe like Starbucks, you can go to a park and just sit and draw people or draw sceneries and it's really fun and it's just very hands-on and it's really cool. And sometimes people, um, sometimes people will talk to you about it and 
you might meet new friends when you do that. It, it just, it'll be fun. <laughs> Trust me, it's really fun to do that. So, um, those are all the tips that I'm going to give today. Um, if I come up with anything else I will that helps me, then I will definitely make a new video about it. If you guys want it, please comment, rate, and comment, rate, and subscribe, and then turn on notifications to be notified when I'm when I upload. And if you um, if there's something that you want me to do, like requests, I will be doing them. My next video is hopefully going to be how to paint. So, well, how I paint because everyone paints differently how I paint and I'm probably gonna do some studies after that so we'll see what we're gonna do and maybe some tutorials so bye